What is going on everybody this is Jay from Maji and Jay today I'm coming with the unboxing and the review of this very cool Bluetooth speaker that I purchased from dhk.com if you guys saw my unboxing and the hands-on of this iPhone 6s replica that you see in the background I didn't mention that I got this together with that box and I also mentioned that I was going to complete the unboxing and review very shortly I know it took me about four days to do so but trust me guys it is totally worth it in all those days, I was testing the quality of the sound, I was testing the Bluetooth quality of course, and also the levitation quality and making sure that it was legit. After carefully examining this product, I think it's absolutely amazing and the price point, even though a lot of you guys may agree that it sounds a little bit expensive at 97 US dollars, it's actually the cheapest levitating speaker in the market. Now taking a look around the box, the first thing you're going to see on the front, which is the only logos that we have here, it's going to be the NFC logo. Yes, it comes with NFC capability. It has Bluetooth and you can answer and decline phone calls. The brand on this one is going to be Leggy BS55 and no BS doesn't stand for bullshit. I guess it stands for Bluetooth speaker. And then 55, I'm not sure where that's coming from, but it has to do something with the levitation on this one here. It's a very nice product. Unfortunately, guys, I ordered the blue color and I got the pink color. I guess I baby somehow uh, mistaken the colors for me, but that's okay because my daughter loves it and she's the one that is going to get it. For right now, let me go ahead and unbox it. Like I said before, I did test it a little bit just to make sure that you guys were getting an accurate review here. The box is a little bit tight. And the size of this box is about, I would say a shoe box size, not too big and not too small. And then here we're going to find two different items. First of all, we got the speaker itself. Like I said before, guys, unfortunately I got the pink color version. We have the plate. Now this plate is only going to serve for levitation purposes. It's actually an electronic magnet. Uh, it's pretty cool. Now something that they could have added for that price, I would say is wireless charging. This speaker is going to charge separately and this is going to be always powered on to the wall outlet so yes that was a little bit of a cons but um, I would say that I guess it's necessary for this thing to be powered on but like I said guys I really wish that they could add it the wireless charging capability on the speaker itself so there we have it for the plate inside you're just going to find a charger here as you guys can see this is the American charger now I believe that I forgot to put back on here the uh, USB cable that came for the uh, speaker itself but yes, it comes also with a USB cable for charging purposes on the speaker and this is going to be for the cradle. It is a 12 volt one. It's always connected. It has to be powered on in order to get the floating capability. So there we have it for the wall charger. Now let's go ahead and check the speaker itself. Again guys, this is not my favorite color. Neither I order it on purpose. It just got here by mistake. But being so cool and my daughter loves it, she is going to get it. So here's the speaker itself. It looks very simplistic and it's actually quite heavy. I will say that this is about at least 120 grams. On the top, you're going to find a power button. You also got a grill here where the uh, speaker is hiding inside. Then on the side, we got the NFC logo. All you have to do is just tap your phone if it's uh, NFC compatible and this is going to connect automatically. On this side of the speaker, we have nothing very special. We just got a rubberized material of color pink, of course, and then we got this little deer looking animal on the front of it. On the back side, we're going to see exactly the same thing. And then this is going to be a hard shell plastic, as you guys can notice already. Then on this side, we got the charging port. We can see that it is a five volt charging port. Make sure that you use uh, any cell phone charger. For the most part, it should work fine. Um, also, we got the mic here so that we can complete phone calls and whatnot. And then on the bottom, we have a rubber plate. Uh, but this is for the most part, it's going to be floating around. Now, the base is going to be affected depending whether you guys want it on the table or if you want it floating, of course. So with that being said, guys, let me go ahead and gather all this together. We're going to be placing this on the plate so that way we can see the magic that you're waiting for. Here we go. 
And now we are getting into the most exciting part of this Bluetooth speaker. I have set up everything here. Um, all you need to do is just connect the adapter provided into the cradle and then connect the adapter into the wall outlet. And that's about it, guys. It's very, very basic. And I haven't yet powered it on. And this thing, guys, is absolutely crazy. Just the fact that it levitates. I know it's magnet. I know it's just a reaction here, but it still is pretty nice. You can see through the other side and it's going to get the attention of a lot of people, especially kids. Now to power it on, all you need to do is just press on the power key on the top side of the unit until you hear the power on voice. Now you guys can notice that it can be easily uh, detached out of the magnets here. So to do so, you need to just centralize it by the middle side. And that's about it. You can see how easy it is. So once you have it powered on, everything else is very simple. There's not much that you guys need to do. Now something I forgot to mention is that when you're powering this on for the first time and getting it paired with your smartphone via Bluetooth, you need to hold and press the power key when you're powering it on. Let me give you a brief example here. So right now I'm powering it off. Power off. There we go. And now we're going to power back on. This time don't let power go off. even though it says power on. Just keep holding it pairing. until you hear that word that says pairing. Now you can go to your smartphone via Bluetooth and get it connected. It's actually pretty easy and it reads it very, very fast. So let's go into Bluetooth and there we can see it right now. It says BS55. All you need to do is just tap on it and it's going to pair automatically. It's not requiring any passwords and if it does, it's going to be one, two, three, four. Now something I did notice about the NSC function on this Leggy BS55 is that when I try to pair with the LG B10, it just powers off my LG. You guys can notice down the top, I do have the NFC enabled. So every time I get it close to it, it's just going to turn off the screen and then the screen goes back on by itself. So I am assuming that it has to do something with the magnets. These magnets are very, very powerful. So um, again, guys, I'm not putting any excuses on this part, but I think it has to do more with the LG B10 than anything else. So with this being said, let me go ahead and give you guys a demonstration here with the sound quality. This time we're going to use my little sound tester. Let's get started. Well guys, we have now completed the Bluetooth testing and the sound testing on this little Leggy BS55. Please let me know what you think about the quality. As a matter of fact, I decided to place my microphone right next to it. The songs that I played or the tracks that I played, they were from this uh, very known website. It's called soundcloud.com where you can get a lot of non-copyrighted songs. As a matter of fact, that is where I get most of them or at least the ones that I place on the background of my videos. They have high quality, so that's why I decided to use their uh, website. And I think it's pretty cool. They even have a application also available that I just downloaded into my smartphone. Um, weirdly, I wasn't aware of that application, but here it is guys. Let me go ahead and show you one more time the quality of the speaker. We can notice how responsive it is with the Bluetooth 4.1.
Now something very cool about this unit is going to be the battery. It comes integrated with a 1750 power million battery, 3.7 volts that is able to last about seven hours with continuous usage. That is very impressive for a speaker that is so tiny. If you guys want to know um, about how big this thing is, well here I have my LG V10 and you can notice that it's about half of the phone. Also we got here the MAS uh, little Android TV box and we can see guys that it's still smaller than this Android TV box so I would say it's very very small. Um, I think that the sound that it provides is very cool and also the levitation thing makes it absolutely awesome. Especially if you're planning to give this for a gift. I think that $97 is still quite affordable considering that there are other models out there that are a lot more expensive. With this being said, on the comment section below, let me know what you think about it. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on my next one.